Hello everybody, aloha, welcome to the next episode of my tech pack. So uh, today we got some things that we're going to do. Um, also, I can't remember if I showed you or not last time. I've got uh, a double furnace here, um, double crusher over there. Um, and I've been going around getting some uranium and so on and some uh, getting some graphite smelted up and, and the like because we're going to build ourselves a big reactor eventually uh, because I need some power. This is nice, um, but it doesn't give me enough power for what I want. What I want to do is I want to go into mechanism. And to go into mechanism, I'm going to need some power because I want to use the uh, mechanism... The mechanism, um, oh, what's the word I want? Miner. And to do that, I have to have quite a, quite a bit of power. So let's go ahead and get some sleep real quick. Also, I installed a mod that allows me to jump over the fences so I don't have to open a gate anymore. Come on. Thank you. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to be... Um, crafting up some items today. We're going to be doing an energizer. Uh, we're still working on actually additions, by the way. We're going to do an energizer. We're going to make a drill and a ring of magnetization. Uh, so I've already got the stuff set up for that. So let's go ahead and get over here and get started. So first thing we need to do is um, let's do the energizer which is this right here. What it does is it, uh, let's call up the Ashley Editions manual so I can show you what these things are supposed to do. Um, energizer. All right, so an energizer, what it does is it charges items that hold CF, okay? So uh, in other words, uh, that hold power. So what we need to do is we need to make ourselves an energizer. So I've got all this stuff already, I believe. Nope, I still got an iron casing to make. And I got an iron and a piece of black quartz. I thought I had that. I guess I don't. So let's go back over to our storage. And we got plenty of iron. And the black quartz. 66 black quartz. Okay, that should be sufficient to do what we need. Let's go ahead and get started here and do it again. So, iron casing, pow, and energizer, pow. One energizer. Okay, that's good. Now, next thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and I believe we're going to make a drill next. So, let's get a drill. So, basically it's diamantine crystals, which is, uh, uh, what you do is you zap a diamond. You zap a diamond with um, the uh, atomic reconstructor and it gives you that. And I needed three of them. So, um, the drill core, I guess I need to do that first. Okay, one drill core. And then we need to do, we got all this stuff? No, Inori blocks. Well, shoots. Inori block is just basically a block of iron. I think maybe I might have put it in the uh, thing here. Let's see, Inori block. Nope, but I can make it right here. Two. I think I need a total of three, didn't I? Um, let's go ahead and pull that out. And let's get some iron here. Where's my iron? Where's my iron? Quartz. Actually, let's check and make sure that it doesn't take quartz enriched iron. Quartz enriched iron. Don't believe it does. Yeah, it's just plain old iron. And I don't see my iron. That's crazy. I got YouTuber blindness. <laughs> oh, that's all right. We'll just do this. 
How many more did we need? We needed uh, two more. Okay, I'll put that away because we don't need it. All right, let's go change these over real quick. One, two. Oh, no, that's the wrong ones. That is already a Nori blocks. We need to change the iron blocks. Wow, I'm really with it today, ain't I? It's late and I'm tired. Okay. I was playing Prey today and got rather aggravated with it because I couldn't get past a certain monster. Okay, there's that. And... Is that everything I need? All right, there is our drill. Now, next thing we're going to make is a ring of magnetization. Now, what it says about that, magnetism, actually, is what it is. It's, uh, it's a ring of magnetism when it's been charged in an energizer and is inside your inventory. It uses the power to suck up items that are further away then you can pick up by yourself. Enable and disable it with a sneak right click in your hand. So we are going to make one of those. So ring of magnetization. Okay, so I've got all this stuff, I believe. Nope, I need a gold ring. What the heck? All right, let's go over here and do it over here. Because I thought I had everything in that chest, but I guess I don't. So let's just do it from here, I guess. Do a ring. Okay, one ring. And what are we missing here on the bottom? One more Nori. Not a problem. I got an extra block. Break it down. Put that in here like that. And one ring of magnetization. Awesome sauce. All right. So let's go ahead and turn this power off real quick. All right. So now what we need to do is we need to... Well, actually, let's see if we got an energy laser. Oop. Because we need to charge it up. A uh, laser. We do. That is good. Energy laser relay. Let's toss that down there. And yeah, let's go in and find our wrench, because I think I have a wrench in here. Yes, there it is. Okay. So let's turn this off. And what we will do is we're going to set this up. Uh, we're going to set this up down here so it's fairly close to where the uh, CF is being generated. I had a little bit of a problem with uh, the generation of power. We run out of room to store the canola seeds, so it started backing up and it crashed my system. So I wasn't, I ran out of power. This is also part of the reason I want to switch over to uh, big reactors. That'll fix that problem. Okay, let's toss those in there. Alright, so let's go ahead and set this Right here, we're going to put an energy relay on it. Right there. And then we're going to take the wrench. Boom. And boom. Okay, and let it charge up. We go inside there. I don't know why those are on there. Yeah, let's take those out. Let's go ahead and charge our ring. Let's give it time to charge. 200,000 on that, so that's going to take some time to charge. That's fine. So while that's charging up, we'll go ahead and put some more in here. Oop, that's a fermenting barrel. And we are full. Now, other thing we need to charge up is our drill. So 
So we let that charge. Put our uh, armor back on. Okay, toss that in. So what I did is I went ahead and I made one of these. Stores a lot more uh, seeds. So maybe that will uh, help with my problem. So it does system doesn't back up on me. All right. See how she's doing. Really don't understand why it's putting those in there automatically. All right, crystal flux. Now the way this works. This is just like a pick, but instead of it works just like a pick, but instead it uses a uh, very little crystal flux, right? So that's pretty cool, huh? So that's two of the things. Now, uh, one of the things you have here, the uh, ring. Let me go ahead and put that down here. Let's put my stuff back on. Shift, right click. I don't know if it's active or not. Yeah, it must be. Well. I'm going to have to read up on that to find out why it's doing that. Because it's supposed to, when you, you're, when you do a sneak right click, it's supposed to uh, disable it. So let me go take a look at the book real quick on that. Uh, you can enable, disable. Yeah, see it says you're supposed to be able to enable it, disable it within your right hand. Sneak right click. Don't know, Ace. That's just the way it's going to go. So there's one more thing that we're going to do tonight. We are going to build a uh, portal to the mining world. So that is the next thing. Yeah, die, you little Boy Scout Bob. I hate you. All right. Go back over here with what I was doing. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to make the mining laser or whatever it is. I can't remember what it's called. This thing here. Uh, mining multi-tool. So I've already got everything made, so all I need to do is do that. So I got that back. Now what I need is I need 10 of these. So we do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Nine, ten. Okay, and we put this back in here. Now we need to put that tool down where we need to, where we can use it, because we'll need it to uh, ignite the portal. So the portal for this one, I think I'm going to set up over here, because I don't want to listen to it. I don't want to have to go over there and listen to the. Um, One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I need one more. That is not a problem. Like that. Like that. Give me one more. Like that. Okay. And shift, right click. And there is our portal. To go through the portal, you got to sneak in it. So what you do is you go up to it and you sneak. And here we are. Now this thing should always be daytime. So let's go ahead and put a marker here. Okay, it should always be daytime. 
I don't think there's any mobs. So let's go down here and take a look see. Okay. Let's use my mining drill, we got it. It's pretty quick too. Now the thing is is I don't know whether or not Oh yeah, I guess it does. Okay, it works as uh with vein miner, which is awesome. All righty, that's awesome. Okay, so here we go into the dark tunnel. So I don't know what uh, level this thing is. So I don't know how deep, or not how deep, but um, well, that wasn't much. So anyway, there is our mining drill, our... That's pretty cool. I like that. There's our mining drill. Our portal to the mining dimension. Which is awesome. You got these uh, holes all over the place, but I don't see any mobs whatsoever. So I don't think there's any hostile mobs either. So I think it's safe enough to assume that this is a safe place to be. Just necessary to dig down to where the uh, ores are. Let's get down in here and we'll see whether or not we got any bad guys. And it does not look like it. Because I'm down pretty far and I'm not seeing anything. Let me get some uh, dirt over here. Continue our downward trek. Where are we at? 39? Now, I don't know if it's going to have any of the non, oh yeah, as I say, non uh, vanilla ores, but I guess it does. So, all right, that's that's good. No bad guys. I can always handle no bad guys. Makes my life easier. Let's go up through here and see what we got. Oh yeah, oh my. Very nice. Hmm. That is a long way down, ladies and gentlemen. Well, let's go ahead and head back up and head back over to our uh, main world. And uh, we are going to go ahead and maybe put together a few of the... Uh, big reactor stuff I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use liquefied redstone for my coolant but I can't remember oh, okay there's a slime island up there which is nice that's uh oh my okay where's portals over this way I see the green dot on the uh, mini map up there or journey map I guess Let's get back over here to the portal. We're currently at 70 on the height, so that's uh, that's not too bad, I guess. I think it's always daytime over here, too. I don't think there's any night. Let's check out this mining rail and see what kind of... Nine attack damage. That's yeah, the same as a... Same as a... Uh... 
X, so that's pretty good. Let's go over here and check and make sure that... Um, okay, that's good. And I think everything's back to normal now over here. Yep. Everything's a go. Oop, give me that back. Yep, everything's cool. We are good to go. All right. So, let's see if I can figure out how to make some liquefied redstone. Which is what we're... Right here, this is liquefied... No, it's liquefied... Ah! It's not what we want. Alright. Let's look it up redstone. Right here. Destabilized redstone. Alright, so it's got to go in a magma crucible. Um, and then you got to have it in, you got to have two things. You got to have a magma crucible and you have to have a fluid transposer. Um, yeah. So let's take a look at that magma crucible and see how tough that would do, be to make. Crucible. That's thermal dynamics, I believe. Thermal expansion. So, uh, copper gears, redstone. This, uh, yeah, that's where it might be a little difficult. Ender glass, copper glass. See, the pyrothium dust is going to be the problem. Copper. Hardened glass. Let's see what hardened glass is. Hardened glass. It's plain old hardened glass. See, the pulverized acidium is not going to be a problem. But that is going to be, the pyrothium dust is going to be a problem because I don't have sulfur. I don't have any blaze powder. So I might have to do some looking around to get that because it all takes that stuff. Arrgh. Maybe there's another way to make it. Mag, ah, wait a minute. Crucible. Let's take it just plain old hard glass. Let's see what it says. Constantine, signalum, lamium, tinder, copper, tin, silver, glass. Nope. Still got to have the pyrothium dust. Obsidian and lead. Okay, there we go. It lit it. Okay, so we got to have a smelter. Uh, we have to have a fluid transposer, and we have to have um, fluid transposer. I'm writing this down. A transposer and a magna crucible, right? Yeah. And that is what I need to get uh, the redstone. So, oop, better head inside. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and call this one done. Put it to bed. And I'm going to put me to bed too. <laughs> so, mahalo everybody for coming in. I appreciate it. And I hope you found this one a little bit interesting. It is a little bit short, but uh, that's what happens when I have everything ready to go. Uh, next time around, we should have everything we need to make the... Uh, the Magna Crucible, the Smelter, and the uh, Fluid Transposer. And we'll go ahead and build those and get our uh, redstone done. And then we'll start making up our um, extreme reactors. So and get ourselves a, an atomic reactor going so that we can get some more power. Because you always need power in Minecraft, yeah? So anyway, everybody have a good day. Mahalo for watching. And aloha.